Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 30th of 2022, well, it is titled Red Crepuscular Rays from an Eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of an eclipse, but in this case, you don't actually see the eclipsed sun itself. This was the solar eclipse from just about a month ago when the new moon between Earth and sun passed directly in front of the sun and blocked out some of its light. Now eclipses occur a couple of times a year. And normally we see images of them when the sun is above the horizon. But in this case, what we see are the rays from the sun coming up from below. And with just the rays, you would have no way to be able to tell that this is simply an eclipse. But the crepuscular rays are visible when the sun is just below the horizon. And the light it generally looks orange, although in this case, they tend to look red. Now, why would they look a little different? Well, first of all, they normally look orange because of the wavelengths of light that are scattered by atmosphere. When we look toward the horizon, we are looking through a lot more atmosphere than when we look straight up. And that means that a lot of the light is scattered and the short wavelengths, things like blue and green are scattered much more efficiently than things like red and orange. So the red and orange light tends to make it through the atmosphere. Now it's thought that perhaps this one looks a little more red because of aerosols in Earth's atmosphere, which scatter away even more of the shorter wavelengths light giving it a very distinct red color that we see in the image here. Now again, that has nothing to do with the eclipse, the eclipse does not cause the crepuscular rays or make them red that does not have anything to do with it. The eclipse is simply the moon in this case blocking out a portion of the light of the sun. But the rays are actually then an effect of Earth's atmosphere. So without an atmosphere, we would not see them. They are an atmospheric effect by the scattering of light. And if we didn't have an atmosphere, the sun would always look the same color in the sky. We would not see red sunsets if we looked for a sunset, say, on our moon, which has no atmosphere. If we were on the moon and we watched the sun rise or set, it would look exactly the same all the time. We would not see any changes of color as we are used to seeing here on Earth because again that is an atmospheric effect. However, you could expect to see it on other planets with an atmosphere and perhaps things could be a little different depending on the exact compositions of the atmosphere as well. So that was our picture of the day for May 30th of 2022. It was titled Red Crepuscular Rays from an Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be yellow liquid sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.